This is Washington, D.C., our nation's capital. It is a city with a wonderful feeling of patriotism, dignity, and ceremony. And it's a town which gives the visitor a sense of history. Across the Potomac River is the Arlington National Cemetery, where you can see row after row of stones engraved with the names of over 175,000 men and women who served their country. But the most famous and sacred burial plot at Arlington bears no name at all, simply the inscription, here rests in honored glory an American soldier known but to God. Over six million people come every year to this 79-ton marble crypt to pay their respects to the three fallen servicemen who were buried at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Every year on Armistice and Memorial Day, American presidents come to lay a wreath in honor of the American war dead. President John F. Kennedy came on Armistice Day in 1963, just two weeks before he himself would be buried here at Arlington National Cemetery. There's a special group of 24 men here at Arlington who dedicate themselves to honoring and protecting the memories of our war heroes. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, these are the members of the All-Volunteer Tomb Guard, a special platoon of the Honor Guard Company, a unit of the 1st Battalion, 3rd U.S. Infantry, known as the Old Guard. Rising from the rank and file of ordinary troops, the men of the Old Guard are superlative soldiers in every way, having excelled through the most rigorous of ceremonial and combat training. Sergeant First Class Henry Massey Jr. is a commander in the Old Guard, and he is such a soldier. I came and saw the change of the Guard, and I told myself that right then and there, if that's the best, that's where I'm supposed to be. I had no idea that one day I was going to be the senior non-commissioned officer in charge. There's only one sergeant of the Guard, and I have that position. I have that responsibility of protecting America's most precious gift. Sergeant Massey is one of the most dedicated commanders the Old Guard has ever had, and he expects that same kind of dedication from every soldier under his command. In an underground area near the tomb, called the Catacombs, the sergeant ensures that every member of the Old Guard stays in top mental and physical form. I will put him under a little pressure by asking him a question. I stare at him very closely. This is Grand. When did you shine your brass? Last night, Sergeant Massey. Good butterflies, but, uh... I feel that this is the best way to represent your country. The men of the Old Guard feel that they represent America's finest soldier. So it is with great pride and careful attention to detail that they present themselves to the public. He will check to make sure all of his awards and decorations are on his uniform properly. Everything he's done here is to precision. As they say, drill and ceremony is done with snap and precision. <laughs> Under the watchful gaze of Sergeant Massey, there is an impressive changing of the guard every half hour during the daylight hours. The pride these soldiers take in their appearance is matched only by the precision of their actions. Their dedication and discipline leave a lasting emotional impressions on the millions of visitors who pay their silent respects every year. It's magnificent. We could all be very, very proud of these fellas. Very awe-inspiring. It's hard to express how you feel time like this. But real pride. <laughs> really pride. Real pride. You must have a very positive attitude to be a tomb guard. And that's why it's volunteer duty. Uh, what do I look for in a soldier? What do I ask him? Why do you want to become a tomb guard? Because I want to be part of the best, sir. And you think the tomb guard is part of the best? Yes, I do, sir. No matter how many times you go out of that door, your standard must remain perfection. The tomb guard sets the standards for everybody. sacred ground because they laid down their lives to help us preserve the freedom that we as all Americans enjoy and try to preserve here in America. To fight and die in service to one's nation is the highest sacrifice a citizen can make. Not every soldier honored here may have totally agreed with or even fully understood the conflict that they were involved in, but they served their country and all of us should see they are not forgotten. The men who died in war fought for peace 
we must remember and revere them while embracing and respecting those veterans who still live. It is because of their sacrifices that the words to God bless America still reign with truth and honor. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with a light from above. From the mountains to the prairie, to the oceans white with foam, God bless America, my home, sweet home. On this Veterans Day, all Americans say... To vets everywhere that we care. Our call you have heeded. You have been there when needed. You made sure that our flag was still there. Good night, Good night everybody. everybody.